Hey guys, so today, oh my gosh, is that a mouse? But anyways, um, I wanted to do some like custom stuff to some of my clothes. Um, I buy, I buy so many clothes and um, sometimes I even buy stuff and I don't wear it at all. Like I save it for stuff. So I have clothes like saved that I've never worn that I want to wear uh, for my next album and stuff like that. But um, I wanted to do some like cool custom designs um, getting ready to go out on tour and so I am going to basically just like walk through the process with you guys of how I do it um, it's not a tutorial so it's just like a vlog <laughs> um, I do use like programs and stuff that I know everybody doesn't have um, but if you were looking for like a DIY, I did do like a DIY how to custom embroider your own denim jacket and I did this jacket and um, and you can totally do it. It wasn't it didn't even cost that much like five bucks not even um, and then I added like my unbroken patches to the sleeves and I still want to do more patchwork on it um, but if you want to do something like DIY like that then you can watch um, I'll post the video right here but what I'm going to be doing is probably something to this yellow I have like this yellow jacket I absolutely love let's see it's kind of wrinkled which is so funny <laughs> but um it's this really lightweight material so it's really good to wear like on stage for summer stuff and I want below the Right below here, I want it to just say like Young Dangerous Heart, like some patches here. Um, maybe something on the front, on the pocket maybe? So I'm going to design some of that stuff and then embroider it out and then last night I did, um, I screen, well like I used, I have screen, a screen printer but I just like hand drew Young Dangerous Heart on these and then I put like a patch over this knee that I made so I'm gonna do some more patchwork to these jeans too and then um, I think I want to add something to this I don't know I have like a ton of ideas so this is a jacket that I'm doing for my well I'm not really d doing any of these patches I just bought her this jacket and then added her patches on there it's super cute. so I could totally do stuff like this at a time so yeah, shout out to Outsiders because they are a brand I really love and they send me the coolest shirts. They're so comfortable and they're so cool. This is one of them and the other ones are dirty probably because I wear them all the time. Um, but yeah, these are the unbroken hats that I make. I make like whatever color I'm going to be wearing. So I think like yellow and orange are what I'm just like into right now. So yeah, um, I'm going to open my computer and start designing. So I'm going to do this pretty quick because I know people don't really care that much, but... So I need to open Photoshop. And this is... Okay, that totally wasn't even recording this whole time. So this is the design that I was going to do. Um, this is like 5 by 7 so if you can imagine how big 5 by 7 will actually be, it'll be bigger than what it looks like on here. But what I want to do is save this as like YDH patch 1, like concessive save. Concessive save, is that what it is? Successive save, wow. Successive save. And then <laughs> I want to separate these. So first let's... do this with the holding the camera so basically I'm just gonna merge all these okay so it's so bright outside that when I turn the camera this way you just see this thing into my desktop and try <laughs> to embroider this there's a few programs this one is Floriani which is a really good one but can I make this Okay, so I'm basically just going to use Sew Art and oh, 
open first. Okay, so it might be too big and my embroidery machine that might not recognize it, but we're going to tell it to not do these colors because it's fine. It's not going to do those colors. Okay, so I want to import something. So that means it's too big, so I have to go back to the drawing board and try to shrink it. So the patch, my phone totally died in the middle of that time lapse, but my patch finished. I mean, this is what it will initially be. I'll cut it out, but it's hideous. And it's because I rushed in picking a font and it messed up like in the middle and I just was, like sewed over it because I just wanted to see like what it was going to look like. So yeah, but no. We're going to go back to the drawing board. So, I forgot all about the fact that I have to pick a really good font, a thick font, in order to do it in that program. So, I can't remember the font I used for Unbroken, but like a thick font like this will work better, but even like the line between the U is so thin and the O that it's going to cause problems. It's not going to look clean like I want it to look. So I'm just going to search through these and take my time. Find a better font. Okay, so this is what I ended up with after finagling, for lack of a better term. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to take this over, digitize it, and then stitch it out and see if I don't like it a lot more that this works it is a 4x4 four four pattern so we'll see I'm just gonna combine these colors to four don't lose that much and we're going to sew the image I'm gonna have it so one two okay guys it looked like it worked just want to see how big it's gonna be and it's using the page, which is making me excited because that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to stitch this out and after the first word, I'll show you guys kind of what it's looking like because it just takes forever to sew up. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to, um, I'm leaving for like a week to go right with my label mates, which is going to be so much fun. They're so fun to hang out with. They're, they're just like family to me. And then, um, so I'll be in Oklahoma um, with them this weekend. Um, so I'm kind of trying to like pack and get ready because I leave there and go straight to Rock the Desert, which I'm also so excited about. Rock the Desert is so fun. I think it's one of the festivals that I get to like hang out and walk around and like see the other artists. And uh, but it's so hot at Rock the Desert that I may need to figure out something more comfortable. Last time I was there. A little girl passed out in the front row because it was so hot. So, yeah, but I'm gonna be at the engine tent this time, so I'm gonna be in a tent instead of like out in the open where it's really hot. And I'm going on at around five, so it's gonna be at least a little bit cooler than like in the middle of the day. Okay, so you guys know how like the bleached flannel thing is like popular right now. Well, I like screen printed it's backwards but I screen printed like I love you so much and then I did like some gold drips on there but I just like hand painted the screen printing because I wanted it to look kind of rustic but like the bottom didn't even bleach right at all so I'm gonna be doing some shredding on that and then I'm gonna re-bleach it to get it like more bleached okay so I bought this top thinking I want to do like a patch across the front or like on the pocket dude let's see how this is doing stitching out so okay so I decided to do another patch for like my jeans I think or I don't know yet I'm gonna just stitch it out but I love this saying it's something that I live by um, 
I was going to do Psalms 3, 5, and 6, which is also like a scripture that I live by and it really inspired my last album. Um, but I think that it's cooler to put what, it, what it's kind of saying what I mean by it. And then also this is my VR drip logo. I'm going to stitch this out on the sleeve of this shirt. Once I stitch them out and cut them out, I'll be able to see like where I want them to go. But these jeans, I'm doing all black and white. So um, I might go back and add some silver to this later. Or some outlining or something in the outfit. Since I was mentioning um, my favorite scripture and one that really inspired me, I thought we could read it. It's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, and I have it underlined right there. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. Um, this whole chapter is really good though. It talks about the value of wisdom and it's done. Now I just have to put this down because I need to eat this food. Now I have to cut all the jump threads and try to fix the A because it totally was supposed to look like that and it looks like that. So fix that, cut this out, pin it on and get to sewing and I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the jacket laid out and I'm going to pin these on the back where I want them. But I don't. First of all, I'm going to make sure it's center, which this part is center. And I don't want them to be above where the hood is because then you can't see it when the hood's down and the hood's mostly down most of the time. So we're gonna start it right there and I want them to be spread out but perfectly even. So I got the jacket on and now you can you know, kind of see where it's gonna hang. I guess I could have got it higher, but when I laid the, I guess it depends, like it can go all the way down. Gosh, you guys, the VR drip came out so good. I could have minimized the stitch length so you really can't see any black underneath, but I kind of like how that came out. I'm going to do the last one really quick and then start sewing onto the clothes. Okay, so like I hope the embroidery machine is not too loud, but the life is not my own one is coming out so dope. I think I might even put it on something completely different just to have more customized stuff to wear. look cool wherever I put it. Maybe I'll put it on the hood. Oh, on the hood would look cute. Let me put the phone down. I want to pin it somewhere and then figure out what that's going to look like. Okay, so I'm really mismatching right now. Mitch Mitch mismatching? Mitch matching? Mix matching. Wow. Wow. I'm mix matching right now. Wow, I haven't said that in so long apparently, but I don't know if like, okay, just act like you can't see the no filter. I don't know if I want it like right here. Let me show you on this here. But I love this shirt by the way, it's just like so dope. I like on the pocket. If I do this, I have to do something else too because it's too different to fit the vibe. Let me try it on something else, and I think that the life is not my own life, so. Okay, so it looks sweet on the pocket. So, it's gonna have to happen. 
because like this is just gonna fall away anyway it's kind of just like whatever yeah sold okay so I was gonna cut this into like a smaller square but I think I want it to take up most of the shirt because I kind of like how that looks so I'm going to cut it now with my rolly cutter and um, get like a precise cut and then see about sewing it on okay but before I put the piece onto the shirt I want to add my VR pretty to hope so I'm going to pin it and also I think I talked about replacing this string with the black one to match but I'm not sure if I like the white or the black so I'm gonna put pin this on sew it on first and then we'll talk about the string cool so now I'll have the VR on the pocket here and then the VR on the pocket here so because of this material pins do not stick in there so I had to tape it um, because of this material and usually for clothes you want to use a zigzag stitch just because it'll give you more fluidity with the garment and if it won't like break the seams if you're like gonna be doing anything sporty which most of the time I am if I'm performing in it or whatever so so I finished sewing it on first of all it's crooked which is totally fine because I'm actually liking how it looks crooked it kind of looks like it was meant to be like that I don't know um, but I'm also liking the white strings because of the white in the patch now brings it out so my life is not my own with the VR on there super swag I'm loving it and this shirt I think I actually got it free because Forever 21 had buy one get one free going on so it didn't even cost me anything so maybe on another project working with mesh I will probably duct tape or something because the pins didn't work the tape didn't work and it was just impossible and I don't have the patience to rip the seams and it probably would really mess the shirt up but um yeah you live in your learn. the other ones are way easier because the pins will stay in place so I'm gonna do those next oh, I'm gonna try it okay. these are so good to sew on so I'm gonna keep the fabric flat and then go forward a little bit go back to the little bit I'm gonna speed up Breathing from here. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> you sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> I had to have my brother hold the camera for me so I could show this because I figured it was boring just watching me sew and not get to see what I'm doing. Trust me, people, it's boring. <laughs> oh, you're Either so, way. You're so dumb. Okay. You guys want to see a gorilla? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Remotely a good joke. It's a gorilla pod. It's still not a good joke. Alright. Dunzo. Just cut this little string guy off. You're young right now. Not dangerous, no heart yet, but you're young. <laughs> That's what matters. Get out. <laughs> okay, here's the front. Got the VR. Got this VR in the pocket, which I'm gonna finish hand so I'm gonna sack it. And Bam, got the Young Dangerous Heart sewn on. It's on there, on there. Can't even get it off. And I got the Life Is Not My Own, which I just love. The VR on there. And what else was I doing today? Oh yeah, that was it, those three things I sewed on. 
So I'm going to get out some stuff and hand stitch the VR on. Uh, but let me see. I didn't come up with another patch for the jeans, but I did those yesterday, so whatevs. Let me just talk to you directly. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. I cut my hair and I didn't even put that out, so I'm going to put a clip of me getting my hair cut right here because I didn't even get to show you guys about that, but my hair is short now i mean i'm sure you've seen it there's a picture of it on my instagram um, by the way follow me on insta and yeah so if you guys like this video please subscribe and share and i'm thinking of doing a giveaway soon of one of my custom pieces so if you guys would be interested in something like that then comment and hit the like button and share and if i get enough of those then i'll do a giveaway Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my channel. If you could please subscribe. Also, give me a thumbs up and a comment below. And I usually check the comments like one to two hours after I post a video. So definitely do that and let me know what you thought. Also, follow me on social media at VRose Music. The links are in the description. And I've also posted some links to other videos for you to check out. So again, please subscribe and um, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks so much.